what just happened after I blended up all my stuff it fell and just busted Whew. <laughs> I'm so annoyed <laughs> oh gosh good morning guys I had a mess everywhere the floor it splashed up on my counter on my cabinets so now I'm just gonna eat my little breakfast and mop my kitchen floor and wipe down my counters I'm so upset <laughs> mm -mm -mm. anyways happy February today's February 1st went to the gym as you can see make a mess but we're not going i'm not going to harp on that i'm not even going to dwell on it i honestly wanted to cry just now and i said girl it is what it is you're just gonna have to clean it up and move on so let me eat this go mop my floor wipe down my um, cabinets and then shower and then start my day because clearly i'm gonna have to be doing something i didn't plan for right now but i just wiped it up a little bit but i'm gonna have to mop the floor when trances going all to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What this is what I'm using. This is um, Magic Eraser, Mr. Clean. And I only have one left. <laughs> Look how it looks terrible. And my trusted Power Dawn. So wipe them down. Finally done mopping the floor, wiping on the cabinets, just made my coffee, and now I'm about to go downstairs and edit a little bit before I go and run some errands because I need to go pick up my dry cleaners. And you know what? I need a new garbage can. Oh, my garbage can in my kitchen, it is rust at the top of it, and I've tried everything to get it out. I've wanted to throw it out for a while now because I've cleaned it inside. I don't know, it just looks nasty to me and I need to throw it away. <laughs> Anyways, let me go drink this and go edit. I would not go in the hospital. Uh, how long it take them for them moving from soon in a little corner there? I was just talking to my mom. Guys, it's now seven o'clock at night and I made dinner, we ate kiddo was doing his homework i did not make it to target yet but let me tell y'all how i was just talking to my mom because my uncle in jamaica he was having some issues he's currently hospitalized because he was complaining long story short complaining about his leg hurting his leg is swollen up and he's been complaining about his leg since september it is now february but well let's say from september to january the man complained about his leg go doctor and doctor gave him compression socks and gave tell him to take aspirin and we're like sir one leg is swollen not even both of them one of them alone swell up and it's hurting and it's painful are we gonna do an ultrasound of the leg finally them order the ultrasound but this has been going on since september i don't know if he went and did the ultrasound right away when it was ordered maybe he was also not non-compliant after it was ordered but it took them september october november this it took them four months to order the ultrasound for the man turns out what he got dvt blood clot in his leg i was so worried because I mean, even ago, I'm not bashing or anything like that, you know, some you know, the resources, but I, I was very concerned. But he's doing good. He's in the hospital. He is on a heparin drip. As somebody in the medical profession and somebody who's from Portland, Jamaica, and who knows the hospital, I was quite concerned. <laughs> I 
was all of us was what was kind of on edge everybody's phone was going back and forth <laughs> because we all was kind of on edge so thank god people in america need to be very grateful when it comes on to certain things even with this healthcare system when they have our america it's effed up in a lot of cases trust and believe because i work in it but it is far better than a lot of places and that is I, I, that's just the honest to god truth no more preaching for that i wanted to go to target but many of the move we got target anymore you know when you feel the itch like you want to target for real i was gonna go to try to find that new garbage can because i want to buy a new garbage can oh i just uploaded my video if you guys have not seen it mega put it up and mega link it down below because this woman is mad woman and she's crazy teeth the people them nursing license and then started to carry on and practice like she's a nurse you know what i mean like just ridiculous you know you're my son and my husband just loud for no reason <laughs> anyways if you guys haven't seen it check it out um tomorrow's thursday i'm not working until next week good morning so I just dropped my son off at school and I am heading to the gym. It is amazing to me with every year, the older my son gets and the more he is coming into his own, you just kind of sit back and you're thinking to yourself, how did we get here? It's just amazing to see like the conversations that we're having, the um, excitement for certain things, getting into certain, like it's just, it's just amazing. I don't know. I just wanted to say that this morning that it's such a blessing and it's a blessing that we should never take for granted. It is now one o'clock and went to the gym, went to Target, the Black History Month stuff is front and center in the front. I actually picked up a t-shirt um, out of the collection. It's from a college student. It says on there that they do a competition for design. So I was like, oh, that's cute. That's cool. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that's very exciting for any college, college student that their design was picked and is in Target. That's amazing. So I was like, oh, I'll support it. It was like 15 bucks. I saw some clothes in there though, and I'm thinking to myself, let's be honest. That's the reason why a lot of times I do not go and buy pieces from these stores when they're say like target times so and so because when you look closely on the stitching and you look you feel the fabric there's something feel like it's gonna itchy scratch you no nah, man it's <laughs> it's a money grab <laughs> oh lord what do not come to me it's not structured properly you know you know stay good you can go somewhere else and probably you can buy the regular old target brand and they're probably they look better so i came home cooked that's what i've been doing so i went to meyer as well because i had to buy a few groceries and i picked this wine up it is pinot noir so pinot noir is my favorite red wine but i prefer the one from the miomi brand but you know i'm into i'm trying to get my health fitness together right and tight it's less calories and it's less carbs i'm not counting calories i already told y'all that i don't count calories i just i'm just intentional in what i put in my body i did lose seven pounds in the month of january yay me yo my goal was to lose five pounds and i have lost seven so my goal for february is to lose five pounds um i am being realistic with this thing and yeah i did not gain 20 pounds in one swoop so I don't expect to lose 20 pounds in one soup. It's gonna take time and I just have to remind myself about that. But I'm feeling good. And I'm feeling good. Mm -mm -mm. I'm feeling good. Seriously. But yeah. Oh, I was supposed to go to that one gym to sign up with a personal trainer to get some information. I didn't go. I might go later today to see what's up. How much it's gonna cost. Put it in my budget. <laughs> because yes ma'am we're all well not not everybody but i'm on a i'm on a budget okay i don't know what this thing here is just really irritating me this i don't know i mean if it asks cartel what kind of bleaching cream you use if you just put it right or so so this can just go <laughs> for all my jamaica <laughs> anyways i'm joking all right showered and made my coffee and I actually just ate a little Aki sandwich wrap. 
I have been, de I told you guys I've been decluttering my house and I took out a bunch of sweat sweatpants, sweatshirts. The other day I went through all my shoes. I actually did a little vlog trying to declutter my shoes. I might put it up as a bonus video on Friday. If I put it up, I will link it down below or link it somewhere in this video. If you guys are interested, you can see. Hey guys, it is now 6.45 and I'm just now about to eat my food. You can see my fish and a little bit of the potato. These potatoes actually turned out really good. I put some rosemary on them and some avocado oil and just roasted it in the oven. Um, I came on real quick because I just got a package from Amazon. I'll show you guys real quick a little Amazon unboxing. Oh, this is a phone case that my husband wanted. But I tell you guys all the time. This little cheesecloth thing, just use this if you don't have a juicer, works all the time. Uh, this is what I use on my skin. Instead of lotion, I use this. Coconut oil. And I have to get some new curtains for my son's room. And I ordered some of those shoe boxes. I thought that's what came, the little plastic shoe boxes so I can organize my shoes properly thought this was the cutest thing let me show you where i want to put it so this i don't know i i'm not feeling this and i'm actually going to return it so what i was trying to envision is not what i'm getting i mean nice try but yeah i'm gonna return this good morning you guys it is friday i have a bag of shoes and two bags of clothes right here told you guys i'm decluttering i'm in front of once upon a child because i am about to see what they want to buy once upon a child is like a second hand store for kids a lot of times i will just bring a bunch of stuff in here they take what they want they buy them the rest that they don't want to buy i just donate them the things that are the best quality I normally take them out and put them aside to give to a friend of mine or my cousin sometimes I'll get $50 I think one time I did get like a hundred dollars and I'll just go ahead and throw that money into my son's savings because you know why not it's $50 $50 right <laughs> it's money so that's what i'm about to do right now i just dropped them off at school and i'm like you know what let me just drop these off because i've went through his closet a while ago and they're, they were just sitting in his room in bags tucked away in the back of his closet Okay, so that was quick it's freezing outside they actually took majority of the things i think i just threw back a couple of pants because they said the wear on there and then i had i think i had a pair of two pairs of hats in there i was just throwing stuff and they said they don't take hats if it's worn already they gave me 51 dollars for those items whatever like i said i was gonna just throw them to salvation army anyways so this 50 bucks will just go in Xander's account. I'm working out at home today. I just wasn't in the, in the whole gym mood. So I'm actually gonna go home and work out. I'm about to look up this gym real quick. I'm back home. So how about I went to that gym and I was circling around, driving around because I could not find this place it's not one of those major chain gym like a planet fitness or a snap fitness you know those la fitness it seems like it's kind of like a mom and pop gym 
which is fine by me you know but i finally found it i went in there there was a instructor in there with three ladies and you know she was just telling me that i have to go on the website and fill out this paperwork and then the owner he will contact me and then we'll kind of go over certain things i didn't get a great vibe i don't know <laughs> I don't know. I want to go for breakfast and I don't want to go by myself because I don't like going out to eat alone. <laughs> That's not for me. <laughs> and not that I'm dependent on anyone. I just prefer to be in the company of my husband or my sister. So I'm trying to see if he can sneak away and go to breakfast, but he's on a call. <laughs> It's 10 30. I don't know. I'm craving some breakfast food. And I think it's because I am on my cycle and it is messing with my mood. I'm gonna wait to see if he can go. Maybe I'll go. Maybe I won't. We'll see. We're going to this little brunch spot. It's 12 o'clock and we're trying to race against time. 